I'm delighted to say we've been joined by its star, its producer, its writer, and its director. <laughs> How are you? I'm great. Uh, Dev Patel, fantastic to have you uh, on the I think the last time you spoke to us was for Lion, but anyways, that's very, very uh, long time ago. Um, in, so the making of this film and the kind of genesis of, 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 of this story is fascinating, but just tell us who Monkey Man is. Introduce us to the world of your film. You know, he, he's basically an unknown kid, you know, one of the many underdogs of this, uh, you know, fictionalized city called Yatana, who, uh, you know, scrapes together a meager earnings as an underground wrestler donning a rubber mask. He's literally a performing monkey, and he's trying to infiltrate this club that's populated with the elite of society to try and get close to the corrupt men who um, took everything from him. And he's called Kid. He has no name, so we just label him as Kid. Um, a man with no name. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, and where did this story come from? Where's, what's the beginning of this story for you? You know, my grandfather used, when I was a young child, he, when he, he lived in Kenya, when he would come to London, he would tell me these stories of, of these old Indian mythological epics. And one of the characters in them was this character called Hanuman. Uh, and that was, you know, Hanuman totally, you know, took my breath away. He was this half man, half monkey kind of simian superhero. And as a kid who grew up kind of shunning his heritage and trying to hide away from it, this was one part of the culture that I thought was just so cool. And was I was like, he's, you know, I think they've copied Superman from from Hanuman and he splits his chest open and he can fly. And, and you know, it, it's kind of been bubbling away in my head for over 10 years. And is that true that Superman was kind of based in Hindu mythology? I mean, I don't have facts, but I, 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 if, if you look at the kind of iconography of, of this kind of, he, there's a very famous image of him splitting his chest open, very much like Clark Kent does to reveal his, you know, Superman S or the, the, even the way he flies, the kind of posture or the way he holds a mountain, very similar, you know. Okay, so, so you have these, this Hanuman story in your head and then, but to turn that into a, a, a movie is a whole other uh, idea. Where did that start from? I'm a huge consumer of action cinema. I love the genre. And as a humble fan, and at that point in my career, I just wasn't getting access to the type of roles that I wanted. I was going to only be the funny sidekick in a movie like this or the guy that hacks the mainframe. But, you know, and also I was kind of a little bit disgruntled as, the, as an action fan of, you know, some of the more mindless kind of, films that were being churned out, you know, and I, I, I think that, you know, especially if you look at the Korean, you know, cinema auteurs making these amazing revenge epics, I think it can hold more, it can talk about more, it can be filled with pathos and culture and politics and religion and, 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 and all sorts of things. So that kind of was the kind of birthing of this story. But you're the, as I mentioned, you're the producer and the star and the director. Was that always the intention, or did you have to be pushed? Actually, originally, I I I'd hired a friend to write it, and then the friend I was you know, that was writing it, he's like, "It's it's in you. You, you. I need your help." So I reluctantly joined him, took a seat beside him by his laptop, and we basically co-wrote this thing together. Um, and uh, then I sent it to a filmmaker, Neil Blomkamp, who I'd, I'd done a film with called yeah, Chappie. Chappie, yeah, that's and, right. Uh, and Neil was like, this is just in you. Like, you, you, you know, every frame and every corner of this movie. And I've never been to India, so you should do this. And, and I was reluctant at first. And he's like, no, you should really think about this. And then I, I took that and just ran with it, you know. And it was, it was a kind of by any means necessary approach to kind of birthing this thing. And just, the, just as a sidebar, the, you, you mentioned Chappie, and Shelto Copley is in your movie. Yes. Yeah, yeah. As a kind of an underground <laughs> circus ringmaster, presumably that's the connection, is it? Yeah, well, Shelto is just, we became friends very quickly uh, during, the, during that production. It was quite an insane production. And Shelto is such a gifted actor. He's a true chameleon, and he, he will just ad-lib and, and create some of the best stuff. And I went to dinner with him, and I kind of pitched him the movie. Uh, which turned into a full three-hour kind of like play-for-play play of what happens. And, and he came down during a very rough time at the beginning of the pandemic to, 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 to give us this great cameo. 